Saber Ice, Anonymous here again. We get questions a lot on what the orbits are used for. Um, we And of course, of how to do them. This is not going to be about technique as much as um, what, what good they are for. A lot of times we'll throw out that uh, these are the parries and, and, and all that kind of thing. Um, because they're done in Seresu and all of that. Um, one thing I say a lot, and um, I think it bears repeating, obviously, is that really when we are practicing orbits or spinning or whatever you want to call it like this, this is just basic kind of weapon wielding. We're not expecting necessarily to do any of this for any real extended period of time in real life or, or anything like this. It warms up our arm, it's fun, it's... It's smooth. We can we can get uh, good body mechanics going and all of that. But we also kind of marry it with the parries. So we get a question of where are these parries? Um, <clears throat> and the short answer of that is they're everywhere. It's more like where they aren't. But really, when we're talking about these we're not necessarily talking about the movement like I'm not gonna do this to a blade necessarily I can if the, the opportunity arises but when we say that the orbits help you with your parries what we mean is if I'm going from any position to parry right that means I have to wield my weapon in a particular way I have to move the blade and hilt in a way, and especially with the lightsaber, that will not hit me. That will prevent my opponent from hitting me, right? So when I'm moving through an exercise like this, which I don't do as an exercise too much, it's, you know, you throw them in here or there or whatever. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this is a switch of direction for me. Um, if I can parry something over here and follow through, bring it all the way around, I might be able to get another parry on another side, what have you. That gets a little bit more complicated and it's not exactly what we're talking about here. Um, <clears throat> but, if I to, were to block or parry a strike like this, there are certain things, mechanics that have to be in place for that to be a successful parry. Um, when I am doing these types of things, keeping the blade close to my body, <clears throat> moving through these ranges of motion. What I'm really doing is I'm practicing moving my body into these positions. Now, sure, with our different types of parries, a shifting parry, you're not going to see a whole lot of shifting parries in an orbit practice like this. You do, they are there though. I can from here, there is just a little bit move over to the side. Now this is why we have people standing like this, with one foot forward, rather than like this. Right? <clears throat> As the orbit goes to one side or the other, you are doing these, but you're doing them in a little bit different way than you usually do. Now, you can come down into strikes after this, and that's another reason why you can practice orbits. If I parry a strike here, right, I can spin it around for another strike this way. Um, <clears throat> I can go from one side to the other. Obviously, I can come over the top. I can go over to the side here, all kind of as a using this as a linking strategy. So, just being able to turn my hand around like this. So, when we say keep the wrist straight, when we say keep the hand close and close down the saber, not to do any more than that, um, the reason is, is because we're not expecting people to be moving like this, but we are expecting 
them to move into positions where they have to be structurally sound, uh, mechanically sound, they have to be quick enough, and they have to allow another technique to follow up through it. So again, coming down, if I'm say on top of, of a weapon here, I can use half an orbit, bring it up over the top. I can parry low, come up over the top there. If I move to the side here, if I'm in a, in a guard like this, and I move over to the side here, now I'm set up to do a strike here. Right? So really, orbiting is very much like its name, and that's kind of why we use the term orbiting. Is It's just changing the position of your saber. Right? <clears throat> um, you want to keep it close to your body for that control. Right? You don't want it flying out all over the place um, because you, you, you're really practicing staying nice and close to your body so that here. So when you use it, it may not look all spinny, spinny, spinny. Right? It may look very subtle. Right? And that's how that would be applied. So, <clears throat> so Ray Su, if you can call that a style, somebody who's fighting with that or using stuff like that is not necessarily going to be using these types of things. Um, you're not necessarily going to see them go behind the back, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one type of fight. Um, <clears throat> you will probably see it a lot of <laughs> this kind of stuff, receiving, and hopefully a lot of footwork, that kind of thing. Um, and conversely, if you see somebody doing makashi or ataru, where they say they're doing it, I mean, it looks, works a little differently in our system, but, and you see orbits, right? That doesn't necessarily mean they're putting Suresu in there. We have, there, these types of wheels are common even in Shicho, right? Where we're doing the Sarlacc sweep up. Right, so you are doing this all the time, right, from day one. Linking it up and then moving it around the body and doing kinds of tricks with it, that kind of comes later. All right, so that's a little overview of uh, some of how the orbits line up with actual use. Um, once we get back into the space, we'll be able to do more demonstrations with with live combatants. Um, we do have a workshop coming up in December, December 12th, a uh, weekend before the release of the new movie, so stay tuned for that. If you're in the Ann Arbor area, please call uh, Liberty Athletic Club or visit them on Facebook. You can contact me here too um, if you're interested in coming. Um, other than that, uh, keep practicing those those skills when we're when we're doing the orbits remember to keep it nice and controlled nice and tight nice and smooth don't let go of the saber <clears throat> try to keep it out of the wrist move like this right and sooner or later and remember we've got the big ones too we're only talking about the minor orbits but I can if I move them together oh, that's another one so we've got an idea for another video later um <clears throat> anyway that is about it i will leave you there have a great day join us on facebook like share subscribe have a savoring